Hello and welcome to my channel. My name is Alex Goddard. I'm a pet portrait and animal artist specialising in acrylic paints. For today's video, I'm going festive and I am bringing you 12 gift ideas for any artists or craft lovers in your family or friends. So I've thought long and hard about this and I've picked 12 things that I love and I use all the time or things that I don't yet have but would love to have. So I'm going to run through them all fairly quickly. I'll include all the information down below. So I've chosen things that are not only for kind of experienced artists, but also art lovers who are maybe just kind of starting out at beginner level. And also things for different age ranges from children all the way through to adults. So hopefully there's something in here for everyone and I hope you enjoy watching the video. So without further ado, let's get into it. So the first item on my list is a sketchbook and a sketchbook is going to be something that an artist will always want and need. This one is a fairly affordable, cheaper option. It's from Wilco's, it only costs a few pounds or you can go to the up opposite end of the scale and get expensive sketchbooks. Yes, a sketchbook would always be a winner and it would always be something that I would like to receive as a gift. And the next item on my list is something that I don't actually have to show, but it's a subscription box. So there's so many different options for subscription boxes online nowadays and I've selected two that I think sound really, really good that I would love to receive. So the first one is called Scrawler Box and it retails for £20.95 per month and it's basically a monthly subscription challenge. So within the box, you'll get um, an image and they give you all the materials, the art materials that you need to recreate that image. So it's great for artists to kind of think outside the box and use art materials that they wouldn't normally use. My second option is from a company called Artful. This is slightly more on the expensive side. It retails at £49.95 a box, but it's advertised as an art school in a box. So I put a picture on screen now and you'll see that it contains loads of stuff. They have different kind of themes for their boxes. So if you went onto their website, you'll see, and the one that I'm showing on screen is their mixed media box. So the next item on my list is paintbrushes, and this is great for every artist painter because we'll always need new paintbrushes. There's a siren going off outside. So I personally love using rosemary brushes. Now these ones, as you can see, they're all chipped, and this is exactly why I said that artists will always need new paintbrushes because this is what happens to them. A set of brushes is always gonna be a great gift. And these rosemary brushes are extra special. They're slightly more on the pricier side, but um, they're used by a lot of kind of well-known like artists and they're just really great quality. You get them for oil paint or acrylic paint. And I've got a selection of different sizes here. You can get round brushes, flat ones, you can get smaller ones. And I'll link below some of my favorite sizes and shapes. And also with the rosemary brushes, when they're delivered, they always are packaged so nicely. They come in a, a really nice cardboard box with all their branding on, and it just looks like a really, really nice gift. If you wanted to go more affordable on brushes, then you can buy a set like this. This one, again, I got in Wilco's, and it I think it cost, it was under £10. It was really, really affordable. And I love the fact that it comes in this canvas bag. It just makes it feel a bit more kind of expensive than what it actually is. This would be great for maybe a beginner artist or a younger member of the family. It's a great little set for beginners. So kind of sticking on the theme of paintbrushes, this is a brush cleaner. It's called the Masters Brush Cleaner. And I only brought it recently, but it is amazing. It's the best, best brush cleaner I have ever used. And although the pot is tiny, it lasts a really, really long time. I'll just show you inside. So I've had it for oh, months now and you only need a tiny bit you basically take the paintbrush and you swirl it inside and you take a tiny bit off onto the brush and then you kind of um clean the brush in your hand and then rinse it off and it's great especially for oil paints because you always need to clean oil paints off with not just water you need something else to clean it off with and it's you can use terps but this is a much kind of safer option it retails for £9.95 and it would make a great stocking filler because it is quite small. Um, yeah, and again, it's something that any artist or painter would love because 
we all need to clean our paintbrushes every now and again. And next up on my list, again, is an item I don't have with me, but it'll be something that I would love to receive or I would love to give to someone. So it is a gouache paint set and I'll put it on screen now. I chose this particular one from Amazon because I love the packaging. It comes in a bright pink or turquoise, which I think makes it just so much more of a giftable item. Um, so again, this will be great for maybe a younger member of the family. And yeah, gouache is just a really nice medium because it is water soluble. So you don't you know, it's not like oil paints where you need to use um, any thinners or solvents. And yeah, they're just so versatile and easy to use. So this is another great one for any kind of budding artists in your family that are just starting out. Next item on my list is a water paint pot. This was something that I was gifted for my birthday this year and I absolutely love it. So it's from Etsy and it's handmade and I just think it makes a really, really nice gift. It's not only practical, but if you have this on your desk, it just looks really, really nice. Uh, when I did my craft fair a couple of weeks ago, there were two people commented on it and said how nice they thought it was. So it has this glazed kind of top part, so it looks like paint running down the sides. And yeah, it's got the little logo on the bottom. As I said, I did get it as a gift, so I'm not sure which Etsy store it was from, but I'm sure if you just went on there and searched for water, paint pots, loads of options would come up. I suppose if you wanted to make it a bigger gift for somebody, you could include it with a set of brushes. So all together, that would be really, really nice. And next, another great gift would be a subscription to a monthly magazine. So this is something that I would personally love, and I'm actually gonna ask my husband for this for Christmas. And there are so many different options, different magazines, but the one that I would choose is Artists and Illustrators. So it retails at £40 for the whole year, and that includes 13 issues. And the reason why I chose this one is because it's very versatile. So it covers all different kinds of mediums and techniques and different um, subject matter. You can kind of get more tailored ones. So if you know a watercolor artist, you can get a magazine specifically for watercolors. But I would highly recommend artists and illustrators because it is so versatile and it would appeal to most artists. I was going to number all these gifts, but I've completely lost count of how many I've done. So anyway, next up on the list is this pen set by a brand called Oh Hoo Hoo. I'm not sure if I'm saying that right, but it's spelt there. So it comes in this amazing case. And so when you first receive it, all of the colours are kind of set out in the correct order. So you get all the reds, all the greens, all the, all the yellows. Um, oh, it's a daisy. But my, I gifted this to my five-year-old son last year for his birthday and obviously everything's kind of got mixed up and there's a few missing. I would say that because it comes in this really, really nice case, he does take really good care of it. But unfortunately, it has got into the hands of my two-year-old on more than one occasion and she's kind of lost pen lids here and there. But I think that is one of the selling points of it. Of all the toys that we have in our house for our kids, this is one that just comes out every single week. It's something they always want to play with. Uh, we do things like three marker challenge with it. They're always coloring. And because it comes in this nice case, as I said, it just makes it much more of a, like a nicer gift for somebody. Um, I did say it was for younger people, but I think maybe adults would love this as well, because obviously the whole trend for kind of mindful coloring is quite still quite big at the moment. And actually this year for Christmas, my kids aren't watching this, so I can say this, Santa is going to be bringing a set for each of them. So I'll gift this one to my two-year-old and then my two boys will get a set each as well. And I think that kind of just will stop any arguments from happening. And yeah, they'll probably take better care of it if they've got their own set each. So next up is a bit of a boring one, but it's a gift certificate for art supplies. People always think of gift certificates as kind of being a bit boring and people don't put much effort in when they give them, but because art supplies are really expensive, so any help you can get towards that is great. The top two places that I would go for would be Hobbycraft or Jackson's. Jackson's have such a huge range and Hobbycraft is great because you can actually go into store and look yourself. I love art books. So next up on my list is this book by Charles Barg. And it's basically a whole drawing course inside a book. So there is so much in there. It's really, really heavy and really substantial. Ooh. <laughs> I opened it on the wrong page there. 
and yeah it would just make a great gift because it looks really nice on the outside it's really thick so i think if you bought this and combined it with maybe a sketchbook and a set of pencils which would be a bit more on the pricey side but that would make such a lovely gift especially for an art student so there are two more items left on my list and both of these are not things that i can show the first one is a trip to a gallery so I personally love the art galleries in London, but depending on where you live in the UK or anywhere else across the world, just look for any local galleries in your area. And last year they had a Cezanne exhibition at the Tate in London. And if someone had gifted me a day trip to go to that, maybe with lunch thrown in as well, that would have been such a lovely gift. Again, slightly more on the pricey side, but maybe you're thinking of getting something for your wife, husband, son, daughter. If they love art, you could make a whole kind of day trip out of it. And yeah, that would just be a really nice thoughtful gift. And last but not least is a paint and sip glass. So these are becoming really popular in the UK. And basically you go to normally a bar or restaurant where you will spend a couple of hours learning to paint a picture and you get um, some food and drink thrown in as well, maybe a glass or two of Prosecco. So this will be a great gift for a friend, I think. Maybe you could go along with them and yeah, just have a really nice night together. And obviously you come away from the event with a painted picture as well. So that completes my list. So I hope you enjoyed it. 12 gift ideas for any art or craft lovers in your life. I run through them fairly quickly, but I will include a link to all of them in the description box below. If you have made it to the end of this video, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Please give it a like if you did and consider subscribing for more videos like this in the future. And have a wonderful December and Merry Christmas.